Hey guys, so today I'm filming a review and a few on the YSL Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. I did receive these for free from Influencer for review purposes, and I believe about a month or so ago, I received another YSL Influencer Vox box, and that included the Touche Eclat Blur Primer and Perfector. I do have a review on those products, which I will link up here in case you want to check that out. So I was ecstatic to get some more YSL products to review because this is a very luxurious brand that I don't have anything of besides the products that I was sent from influencers so I was just so so happy to be getting this box. These lipsticks retail for $36 and you can find them at Sephora, Nordstrom, Barney's, Saks, Neiman Marcus, and Lord & Taylor. You can purchase them online from all of those websites but the easiest one to purchase from and the one that you might prefer would be Sephora or Nordstrom. So for packaging both the box and the product come in a luxurious gold packaging that you come to expect with YSL. The box just has the name of the product. On the top it has the shade, number, and name. So now for the packaging of the lipstick. It is the luxurious gold that we all love from YSL and it does come in a square rectangle type packaging instead of rounded like most lipsticks. So I really like this. I feel like it adds to how luxurious it looks. On the bottom you have a sticker with the shade number. If you want to know the name you have to get that off the box or online which stinks. I really wish they would just put the name on the bottom but that happens with a lot of luxury brand products which stinks but whatever it could be a lot worse and what's really cool is that on the actual bullet of the lipstick you have YSL logo imprinted on the actual lipstick which I think is a beautiful beautiful touch and this lipstick has some heft to it which I like I feel like it just feels sturdy and it feels more expensive and also the closure is really strong as well so you don't have to worry about the top coming off in your purse so the packaging is definitely an A plus for me and I'm going to read you the claims from this YSL influencer card that came in my Vox box. It says Rouge Pure Couture. In one stroke, get luxurious, rich color that dresses the lips with intense hydration and antioxidant care. With its signature couture jewel-like packaging, this lipstick symbolizes edgy style and ultimate feminine strength. So it doesn't really claim anything amazing except that it is very hydrating and that it provides color. That's really all it claims and I would say that those claims are pretty true. So for shades there are 42 shades available in this range which is incredible. That is such an extensive shade selection so that is definitely a bonus of this lipstick. And I have two shades. I have number nine, Rose Stiletto, and number 19, Fuchsia. So I have a great neutral and a bright. Here is number nine, Rose Stiletto, in a swatch. Here is what number nine, Rose Stiletto, looks like on my lips. Here is what number 19, Fuchsia, looks like in a swatch. Here is what number 19, Fuchsia, looks like on my lips. And I will try to list all of these shades with their color descriptions down below. So check that for more information. But I'm very happy with the two shades that Influencer sent me because I was able to try one of their neutrals and their brights to compare the pigmentation, the finish, the formula, the feel, the everything. So I really like having that variety. So next for scent and flavor. That is one of my least favorite parts about this product because this is heavily, heavily scented like perfume. Like literally it's it's like you're putting a solid perfume stick on your mouth. It is so strong and you can also taste it. If you accidentally lick your lips, you're going to taste it and it's disgusting. Now it does go away a little bit after a while. You can still tell it's there, but it isn't as strong. But when you first apply it, it literally is like you just put perfume on your mouth. So I cannot stand that. It is a huge turn off for me, but maybe you'll like it. And like I said, it does wear away after a while though. And now on to pigmentation. That is one of my favorite parts about this product. Even though I do have a neutral shade, this was fully opaque pigmented in one swipe. The same with the bright fuchsia shade. So I love that they have such full on pigmentation. So now for texture and finish, the lipsticks that I received, the regular Rouge Pure Coutures are all cream finishes. I do believe they have a satin and matte formula as well, but the ones that I received are cream. They're super, super smooth. Cream finishes are definitely my favorite. And these also feel very comfortable. I don't feel like they dry out my lips whatsoever. I wouldn't say they 
they moisturize them, but they don't dry them out. So I definitely love that about this lipstick. So now for lasting power. That is my other least favorite part about this lipstick. I find that this lipstick lasts two hours on me. Not eating, not drinking, two hours. Literally, I was wearing this yesterday because I wanted to test out the wear time. I applied it. I watched TV for like two hours and then, you know, I kind of forgot about it. So I went to go check on it and it was completely gone. I had not eaten anything. I didn't drink anything. Just, I wasn't even talking. I was watching TV. Just two hours gone so I do not like that whatsoever because this is so creamy if you are someone that tends to have lipsticks bleed on you I think you're definitely gonna need a lip liner with this lipstick and even though it only lasts for about two hours it does leave behind a stain even the neutral shade which I think is really nice so I do like that there's a little bit of color there if I don't have time to touch up immediately but two hour wear time is just unacceptable for me. My overall rating for this lipstick would be a three out of five. For the pros, I love the shade selection. 42 shades is incredible. I also love the cream finish. It is very pigmented and comfortable on my lips. The things that I don't like so much would be the price. $36 is just outrageous in my opinion. Even though I know this is a luxury brand, $36 for a lipstick is crazy. Also, I do not like the fact that they only last for two hours on my lips. That is also unacceptable to me. And the super perfumey fragrance is also a huge turnoff. So because of that, I'm giving it a three out of five. Honestly, if you were looking for a lipstick that has the same pigmentation, the same creamy texture, but it lasts a little bit longer, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks and the Cream Formula are very comparable. The Revlon don't have near as many shades as the YSL, but it is so much cheaper and it feels very similarly on my lips and it lasts a little bit longer. So I definitely would recommend these over these. These are about $5 depending on where you purchase them. These are $36. There is a $30 difference between these two lipsticks, and I find the formulas to be very comparable, but, you know, that is just my opinion. If you do want to treat yourself, these lipsticks are nice, but there are those couple cons that are just really big deals to me personally, so I'm not going to be purchasing any more shades of these lipsticks. I will wear the two that I have because the colors are beautiful. So those are all of my thoughts on the YSL Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. If you guys have tried these out. I would love to know your thoughts in a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching.